Here we have to the left Stanford Green, back was the car park. Um, Kingston Road is to the right, countryside. And then you've got the Wells Road, which I think I need to take down there. As I say, I'll put in the description below um, if I can find the information about this. And I'll also put pictures um, of how big this place is on Google Maps via different, um, what's called terrain. So, yeah, it's okay actually. Here, as, as you can see. I've decided to park the booty here for 10-15 minutes or so, do a live stream, bite to it and then get on. This is the Great Stew Ponds, I think, East. Hi guys and welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to the latest video. This video is a big vlog that I'm doing, which is today, Tuesday, the 20th of um, August. Time, 11.42, a little bit later than I wanted, but hey-ho, just the way it goes. I'm dealing with a, a, a snooty eBay customer who brought something, or who wanted to buy something, but um, couldn't pay till tomorrow. Anyway. I'm at Epsom Common, which is the largest um, local nature reserve in, in Surrey. So what I do, I um, take you around as much as I can today, and because there's no time restrictions, so I've got, I've got the car, so I can go any time before six really. So there's plenty to um, show you. So do enjoy. So as you can see, Epsom Common is. 177.4 hectares, 438 acres, local nature reserve in Epsom in, in Surrey. Um, it's the largest nature reserve in, in Surrey. There we go, there are 44 local nature reserves in Surrey. So, I've been to a few. I think this is the, f is it the first one I've been to, no I think I went to a couple of others but I'm going to have a look. What local nature reserves are there in Surrey? You've basically got like Brentmore Heath. Century Field, Chertsey Meads, Chinhurst Hill. We have a look, see what I can find. Sites. Ashstead Park. See if I've still been to anyone. Claygate, oh, I've been to Claygate Common before, but I'm not on the vlog. Um, I'm, I'm at Epsom Common. Let's have a, oh, there we go, that's the one I've done. Um, the Hogsmill, as you saw in my vlog um, from the Hogsmill River Walk in the Epsom York um, Borough. Port Country Park, I've done that one, so I've done two. Um, uh, I think I've done both last year and uh, back in the last year. So do go and check them out. Yeah, so you can, as you can see, there's plenty of um, different. Um, nature reserves in, in Surrey, there's plenty to go and see. If I can find a, a website to the nature reserves, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Hopefully, this will be out. Um, whew, I have my meetup this Saturday, 24th. By the time you see this, so I've still got two or might be three vlogs from. Um, Bushy Park, so this probably be out um, some point in September. So hopefully I make it to the Lake East, a bit like Horton Country Park, 
um, Bushy Park, Richmond Park, and that sort of thing. There's plenty of walks you, you can go down. Let me just consult Google Maps and I'll speak to you in a bit. I am heading a right way to Epsom Lake East. I'll get a few photos on the phone and a few photos via the camera. I'll try and put some of my um, uh, community tab on my YouTube channel and a few um, on the Monumental Facebook page. Just, just a little preview. I'll do a preview vlog of this as well. So you've got to be careful. It's very, very muddy. So the shoes will need a complete clean later on. So I've got to keep cons um, consulting Google Maps. Because obviously I brought my equipment. I brought some lunch and some drinks. Um, my big um, pyramid tripod I brought. Also brought my charger for my phone. External charger. My glasses, the sunglasses, the jumper. As, as you can see, it's a bit... Oh, chilly willy! Not too bad to be honest over here. You can see a lot of nature. You, you, you wouldn't think in... Uh, like obviously when you go to um, London like in a M25 you wouldn't think there's many nature reserves and um, wooded areas but there's loads near me Horton Country Park uh, you've got Bushy Park you've got Box Hill not far uh, you've got um, Epsom Common Ashton Common it's very big like quite a few hectares so it probably take you it's 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 um, smaller than bushy 445 hectares 1099 acres just comparing 2500 acres yeah it's quite a lot how big is epsom common 438 acres, 1.77 hectares. So, you could probably do this in about four, four and a half hours. It takes 45 minutes or so to get from Epsom where the pubs are, which I would have to go down that way for, I think, which I'm hoping to do soon. I just, I just want to go to a lake east and then head towards the pub so I can have a, have a little. Um, there's another path down here, no horses. But I think I need to go this way for the lakes. There's plenty of paths to go down. Here we have to the left Stanford Green. Back was the car park. Um, Kingston Road is to the right. Countryside. And then you've got the Wells Road. Which I think I need to take down there. I probably won't be able to do every single path and there is around because of the fact that um, it's basically quite a, a long way. So I'm going to go this way to the, um, what do you call it, to the lakes. Wood. <laughs> Woodcock Corner. Oh, well, sun's down. I put my spectacles on. Me, um, John Lennon's on soon. Epsom Well. Okay, let's go around this this way. Do let me know if you've been to Epsom Common before, and what did did you like about it? Did you get around the whole common? Did did you go to Ashstead Common as well, which is um, next basically next door, and then obviously it's quite far um, around. I should, in theory, stumble across the um, lakes very shortly, according to Google Maps, just to give me a hint. I've not been here for years, since I was probably a kid. I thought, why not, it's going to be a nice day. It's As, as I said, it's Tuesday the 20th of August, so not many, very many days left now for the nice weather, because it's going to be um, getting colder. Arc at me, trust me to go the wrong way. I needed to go where those crossroads were, I needed to go right according to Google Maps. It's a bit fickle, Google Maps, because it tells you one thing, and it goes, going that way, going this way, going that way. I'm like, no, tell me the right way. So I gotta go right. So where the crossroads was, over here, down that way, 
or go to the right. I want to go to the lakes first and then head towards near Epsom, then head round past the wells because there is some um, Roman ruins I want to go and see. I'm not sure if you see many of them, but I believe it's this way to the right, which is green and um, Stamford Green, I think it says. I haven't got my spectacles on in my bag. Stamford Green. So I'll try and get some footage um, via my a tripod soon coming down here. As I say, there's so many ways to go around, just 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 um, got to try and find the right way you want to go. Because you could probably spend seven hours here going all the way around, um, that sort of thing. So I, I haven't got a, a time frame like I did at Bushy Park, like I've done at Richmond Park, for example. So I'm free to do what I like, when I like. I've just officially checked I'm on the right path to the lakes. Whether I get to go near them, because that sign back there did say it was closed off, but how long it's been there, who knows. So, if you come into a common like this, just be aware you have to wear, um, like either wellies, um, big hiking boots. I'm wearing my um, vans, as, as you can see. But they're older vans, so they're they're fine for here. I don't want to wear any decent shoes. If I wear my DMs, Doc Martins, which I wear mainly in winter, um, I get really hot feet in them. There's a lot of air in the vans. I'm almost at the lakes here, as you can see, over that way. I'm basically at the lakes. There's two lakes, um, the bigger, biggest one. There's a few small ones, but here's the bigger ones I'll have a look at. As I say, I'll put in the description below um, if I can find the information about this. And I'll also put pictures um, of how big this place is on Google Maps by a different um, what's called terrain so yeah it's okay actually here as, as you can see I might um, in, in a bit actually do a live stream find a spot to live stream from so what I do if I get a few photos for, for the vlog I'll I've got to head this way to the other lake. Um, you can see the country, Chesington Countryside Walk. Oh, it goes to Chesington. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because because you can go to Ch 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 Chesington from here. That's what I did before the Countryside Walk. And the winter horse rides well. So see if we can go up here. See, it's okay. <laughs> the weather today is warm. But then there's a lot of breeze, so if you take your jumper off, you might get a bit a, a chilly in the breeze. You can leave it on, you get hot. So what do you do? On, off, on, off, on, off all day. Might as well just leave it on with your arms rolled up. So turn you around. What I've done is I've got had to come from that way across, as you saw just a minute ago, come way around this way because I need to go round to the left towards the other lake. As, as I say, not having been here before um, means I'm going to go to different places where I try because I tried to work out a route before um, on Google Maps on the PC at home where I was going to go 
and what we're going to see but it always ends up differently when you do the vlog this is the first one pen i think is it let's have a look what it's called officially because knowing my terminology shoe pond um this is this is shoe pond here all the way around here and then i'm going to head towards great shoe pond <laughs> around here somewhere and let me just see um yeah it's great shoe ponds because they're different like contributories i'm not sure what the contributory of the river is here but i will have a look later it's just nice to get out nature like because this, this is the largest um, nature reserve in Surrey. There's so much to see and do. You could probably do it in... If, you, if you're frugal, in four hours. But if you're not, because it goes from um, Epsom Central to... Um, you can go to Ashstead. You can go past Ashstead. Near towards the M25. Let's see what I can see if I go up these steps. Um, oh yes, yes, yes. I've got to Great Street Pond. Excellente. Um, find someone to park my booty. Have a bit of lunch, do a, a live stream. Um, let's have a look. Park it over here, guide down here. Actually, um, let's have a look. I'm trying to get a good spot because it's all enclosed off. I've decided to park the booty here for 10 15 minutes or so, do a live stream, back to it, and then get on. This is the great stew ponds, I think, east. Oh, I see how high up there, that's, that's the measure. Come over the um, fence, quick rickety fence. Again, I say it's like David Attenborough. I always say that when I go out of vlogs from different places. I say it's like David Attenborough. We're coming through the wild, through the trees, through the undergrowth. Trust me to go straight through the brambles up to like here, like neck deep. <laughs> With the pro proper paths. Well, I knew there was, I just couldn't find it where it was from the um, big lake, to be honest. <laughs> but, oh well, it, it is what it is, can't be helped. So it's just nice to get out. As I said before in the vlog, that. I think this probably will be my second to last big vlog. I'm hoping to do one from Richmond upon Thames. Um, not sure when though, as of recording this today, Tuesday the 20th of um, August, 